up, you YouTubers? It's Harpy 89 and the voices in my head coming at you from the Duelist Den. And today we're going to be talking about whether or not we need a new ban list and what might change on the ban list once we get it. Now, before we go any further into this video, I do want to remind everyone out there to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, <clears throat> and follow all the social media accounts, which are linked down in the description box below, so you can stay up to date with everything happening here at the Duelist Den. <clears throat> so, as we all know, uh, we do have a new ban list set to drop in April. Now, with ban list season fast approaching, uh, we have major questions raised in the community. The first question is, do we need a new ban list? Now, in order to figure out whether or not we need a new ban list, we need to know what decks are topping major events because the ban list is usually used to put the major decks or the meta decks in check. Now, fortunately for all of you, I've already done the research on this. I've gone through every major event, every regional, every YCS that has happened since the February ban list went into effect, and I've come up with this pie chart. Now, as you can see, we do have three major decks. Pendulum Magicians have a 24% representation, a little over 24% representation. Trick Stars have a 12.5% representation, and True Dracos have just under 12% on their representation. So about half of the decks that are topping right now are Pendulum Magicians, Trick Stars, and True Dracos. Now we also have Light Sworn, Zombie Swarns with just under 10% representation as well. So we could make the argument that we have four major decks in the meta right now. Now usually in formats of the past, we see probably one or two, sometimes three decks that top alongside the meta decks. However, with this format, as you can see by this pie chart, we have 15 other decks that are topping right alongside the meta decks. And some of them are so random that it makes you wonder how they topped. We have things like um, Heroes, we have Magnet Warriors, even a Wind Witch Lunalite Kaiju deck has topped a major event alongside Spirals, World Chalice, Burning Abyss, Paleos, ABCs, and a whole host of other decks. So do we need a new ban list right now? Personally, my answer to that question is no, and a lot of people agree with that because of how diverse the format is. So the next question is, do we want a new ban list? Again, the answer to that question is no. There's been no major outcry in the community for a new ban list. Almost every person in the game right now is very, very happy with the fact that they can play in a format that is so diverse that they can actually experiment with decks. They can use a little bit of originality, a little bit of creativity, and still top a major event. So what might happen with the ban list once it drops? Well, I feel that obviously Pendulum Magicians are going to get hit. The major problem with Pendulum Magicians, in my opinion, is Astrograph Sorcerer. Now, the, a lot of people feel that Electromite is the main problem. I disagree fully with this. Electromite is used primarily to search out the Astrograph Sorcerer, which allows you to flow and combo and just loop really, really bad. So I feel Astrograph Sorcerer is the primary problem with Pendulum Magicians. And we would need to ban Astrograph Sorcerer because if you limit it, you can still search off that one copy with Electromite. So we would need to ban Astrograph Sorcerer and that would majorly put Pendulum Magicians in check without damaging any other Pendulum based deck that is doing well in the format such as Zephyrus. Now with Trick Stars, there's really only one thing in my opinion that needs to get hit and that is Trick Star Reincarnation. Now the argument could be made that Candina needs to be hit but you still have the issue of being able to search out. Even if Candina gets limited, you still have the issue that the field spell can search out the one copy of Candina in your deck. So I feel we would need to search out or to limit the Trickstar Reincarnation. Why? Because even though you can still search the one copy of Reincarnation with the Candina, we won't have any of these crazy plays where you play one Candina, uh, bounce or bounce the Candina with Lycris, uh, summon Candina again, and get all pretty much get all three of your reincarnations out of your deck. Uh, so limiting reincarnation would still allow this deck to be meta relevant without being too overpowered. 
as far as true Dracos are concerned, Masterpiece, I feel, is the real problem with this deck. Uh, the field spell is fine. I'm perfectly fine with the field spell. You hit Masterpiece, and the deck will be put in check. And the reason I feel you need to hit Masterpiece over the field spell is because there are a lot of other decks, such as uh, True King Dinos, for example, that use the field spell, but don't really abuse the field spell. Uh, but anyway, that's just my thoughts on what might change with the uh, next ban list. I want to know what you guys think might change with the next ban list. I want to know what you guys feel about this current format. Do you like this format? Do you think we need to have a major change on the ban list or not? And do you enjoy playing in this format? But let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, guys, it's Harpy Hunter 89 and the voices in my head. Just want to say Yu-Gi-Oh! is not just a game. Yu-Gi-Oh! is life.